Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now June 7th of 2021 and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2's finale, a lot of Star Wars fans around the world have been very much curious and worried about the future of the franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm and whether or not John and Dave as well as George are really going to be able to pull things off. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Also make sure to check me out at MikeZero1 on Twitter. Now when we go ahead and examine everything that has been happening, we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm have a large lineup of Star Wars TV shows and movies that are about to arrive this, of course, November, at least for the announcements, as well as other Star Wars TV shows that will be announced over at Star Wars Celebration, so keep your eyes open for that. What really surprises me the most about all of this is that we're now currently in a phase in which John and Dave are trying to bring back a ton of Star Wars Legends material. We're talking about Mara Jade, Luke Skywalker, the stories of the Thrawn trilogy and Dark Empire coming into the mix, uh, Kyle Katarn, all these different characters and story elements making their way into the Mandoverse and beyond. So this really does speak volumes. It tells us that John and Dave really do care about the fans and that they do care about the Star Wars fandom as a whole. The thing that really surprises me the most about all of this is how Kathleen Kennedy is still having a lot of issues with the Acolyte TV series. We've talked about this plenty, that the Acolyte TV series, in case you guys have been out of the loop, is a High Republic TV show. So keep in mind that it does indeed take place at the very end of the High Republic, as opposed to the beginning and or the middle. This is taking place just a couple of decades before Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. However, there's a lot of problems happening behind the scenes between Kathleen Kennedy and, yes, writer Leslie Headland of all people. Now, specifically, of course, now that both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are actively developing their new Star Wars projects such as Star Wars Ahsoka and others like Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett, Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy is described to be having major problems with writer Leslie Headland of the Star Wars Acolyte TV series since they recently have been falling into creative differences for the final three episodes of the script. Further, it's described that Leslie Headland is pressuring Kathleen Kennedy to do away with the character Maeve in the final episodes done by actress Brie Larson, and that Kathleen Kennedy wants to keep Larson in for the last batch of episodes. So, in case you guys don't know, Brie Larson is set to portray a character named Maeve, who is basically a Jedi god. Moving on. This is leading to Kathleen Kennedy wanting to fire Leslie Headland from, this TV, from, from the actual TV show, and that Kathleen Kennedy is said to be getting way too overwhelmed with this new Star Wars TV series for Disney+. Leslie Headland is described to also have issues with Kathleen Kennedy wanting director Ryan Johnson to direct the final three episodes of the Acolyte series, since Leslie wants to an actual specific director in mind that would focus on her own vision. This is described to all boil down to Kathleen Kennedy interfering with Leslie's vision for the Star Wars Acolyte series, and that Leslie is refusing some of Kathleen's requests, and that Kennedy has brought up these issues to the higher-ups over at Disney in an attempt to get Leslie Headland fired. However, Disney CEO Bob Chapek is indeed refusing to give Kennedy permission to fire Leslie as it would cost way too much time to find a brand new main writer for the show, as well as how it would cost them more money as well in the long run. Now, on top of this, the thing that really does stand out the most is how Kathleen Kennedy actually went as far to discuss all these issues with the higher-ups over at Disney. We're talking about the board members, Disney CEO Bob Chapek and more, to try and attempt to get Leslie Headland off of the show. I don't think anybody would expect any of this to have happened, because Leslie, in my book, is just as bad as Kathleen Kennedy when it comes to Star Wars. We do know that Leslie said this before in the past, that she's not really a Star Wars fan. You know, she's just doing this to kind of explore her options and what she can really do to explore her own vision. She doesn't really have a favorite Star Wars movie. Basically, Leslie Headland is a creator, or a writer that Kathleen Kennedy hoped to be her pawn, if you will. And that's ending up not to be the case. It seems like that Leslie wants her own agenda-driven show that goes against Kathleen Kennedy's agenda-driven, you know, vision of Star Wars. 
And obviously this only creates a bigger mess for the show. I've been saying this time and time again that I just don't feel that the Acolyte series is going to make it for 2022, let alone the end of that year. It's looking more and more likely that it's going to be 2023 at the minimum, maybe even beyond that, depending on exactly what they want to explore. Now, like I say, I cannot judge the show entirely. Let's be realistic here. There's no footage. We have seen a shred of footage of this TV show. But on paper, it just doesn't sound all that great to me. Yes, it's the High Republic. Yes, it's going to have something to do with the legacy of the Sith. But keep in mind, remember this, is that Kathleen Kennedy is trying to make sure that it shifts away from the philosophy of George Lucas and that it will provide major retcons and changes to the prequel trilogy era and the concept of the Chosen One prophecy. That's drastic. That's way too much for me to be changed, and I think that Kathleen Kennedy should really back off and kind of just give more breathing room for some of the directors and the writers to just do their own thing. If Leslie does a bad job, she does a bad job, you know? That's when we can just dust our hands off and call it a day. But overall, this show is still happening. It's still moving forward. I still stand by my opinion that it's still gonna come out, but it is going to be delayed. That seems to be more likely right now. Again, they already have Star Wars Endor slated for 2022. They're trying to get Kenobi in there as well. It would be a bit of a stretch to throw in the Acolyte TV series on top of all of those TV shows. So it's looking more likely to be 2023. There's two scenarios here. Either they're going to shift the Kenobi release date to squeeze in the Acolyte or they're going to do that in reverse. I think it's going to be in reverse. I think that you're going to have the Acolyte getting delayed and Kenobi being squeezed in there. Which is honestly better. Star Wars Andor and Kenobi, very two good TV shows that could very well go hand in hand. Am I personally looking forward to the Andor show? Absolutely not. Um, it is a Rogue One spin-off or a prequel, if you will. So I can at least say that it has potential. It has potential to have that Rogue One feel or that tone but I'm just not all that big of a fan of Kazian Andor as a character. He never really grew on me. He never really uh, did it well for me in the actual movie. I didn't really get all that invested in him. So, like I've said before in the past, you know, let me know what you guys think about this entire situation between Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie Headland and what's really going on, you know, between these two and what do you think the Acolyte TV series is going to become? Is it gonna get canceled? Is it just gonna be delayed? I've stated my opinion, it's not going to get cancelled, it's definitely going to be pushed, you know, to a different date most likely, but it's not going to be cancelled. They definitely want to get this thing out there. But hey, you know, who knows, look at what happened to Rangers, right? So yeah guys, you know, drop a comment below, let me know about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.